Jack Hurts, huh? Let's face it, some people seem to savor unnecessary and unhealthy conflicts. In fact, they don't seem to be happy unless they're driving those around them crazy. I feel like I should be saying we do this. So how do you handle this kind of challenge? And I've got a great guy here that I'm just blown away by his books and his advice. His name is Dr. John Townsend. And I've got a little book, it's a little book, with big information called Handling Difficult People. It says what to do when people try to push your buttons. Do you push back generally? Do you ignore? Do you walk away? Well, the answer is sometimes. And when do you stand and confront? Well, basically when you've got somebody who's somewhat difficult, you know, maybe they're pushy or maybe they're manipulative or defensive, you always start off with some vulnerability like, this isn't working for me, can we have another solution? But there are some people that the only answer you, you have for them is lawyers, guns, and money. So you do believe that you sometimes have to stand up? Absolutely. Well, I'm glad to hear that because we, we are in conflict, uh, if, uh, particularly if we're in the Christian mode mm -hmm. or the religious mode, that we need to turn the other cheek, just accept, don't do that. And you're saying you, it's okay, stand up for yourself. Well, there's, there's turn the other cheek and all that, and, and, but there, those aren't the only verses in the Bible. There's also let your yes be yes and your no be no and shake the dust off your sandals too. <laughs> So you got to take all those verses in context. You do, don't you? Well, you, we have a big life. If you've got your money or your health or your finances or whatever, you've got to protect those things. And some people are sort of like, make it hard for you to protect them. You have to make, make a stand sometimes. All right. And the only thing that holds us back from doing anything, if we don't like where we are, the only thing that's holding us there is our own fear. How do we overcome that? Well, you got to determine the fear. There are basically three fears that keep us not responding well to difficult people. One is the fear that we'll lose the relationship. Yes. If I don't give you the cookies or if I don't you know, give you the money you need or the time you need, you're going to pull away from me. Now, that, what that means is we can't be over-dependent on any one person. Everybody's got to have their own life team. So if one person bails on you, you got some other people that will support you. The second fear is the fear that they'll get angry at you. We call that conflict avoidant in psychology. If you're conflict avoidant, people can sort of lasso you when they're mad and then you kind of do whatever they say because you don't want to experience their anger. You've got to be able to handle people's anger and not take it personally. And the third fear is the fear of our own guilt. I don't want to let people down or disappoint I don't want to hurt or I don't, don't want to, yes. And you know, all of that is such a battle in relationships, yeah. I think, between men and women, but more so, I believe, particularly with women mm -hmm. who really feel bad if they hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. I don't mean men don't, please. I'm not trying to make a blanket statement. Yep. But there just comes a point when you say, okay, why am I taking this? I'm taking this because I'm afraid I'll be left. Well, what'll happen? if you are, well, then I won't be able to support myself. Well, then, you know, and we go to, do we have to confront our worst fear and then decide that we can do it? Well, you really do. And you made a good point earlier about that person that said, well, I don't want to hurt anybody. You know what? Healthy people hurt each other, but they don't harm each other. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to confront each other and say, you know, that was, you were 45 minutes late to the meeting. That's hard. Well, you might hurt somebody's feeling, but you might be saving the company. So we have to distinguish between hurting people and harming people. So are you ever on TV doing things like on PBS and all of that? Sure. You've got the most sense in this little book uh, that I, I'm, I'm, I'm so blown. How many books have you written? 27. So did you have good parenting? I have really good parenting. Is that where you learn to be so smart about relationships? Since I think my mother's watching this, absolutely. <laughs> Head to drtownsend.com for details on how to pick up a copy of this book, Handling Difficult People. I'll tell you, it is so worth the read. And can we buy it at any book bookstore? Or Amazon. Or Amazon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Will you come again when you I'd come to, to Dallas? Susan. And yeah. we'll pick another topic because you sure have helped me a lot. I'm going to go home and beat up my husband. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Our broadcast. <laughs>